We'll begin today's practice with the Yellow Prayer Book opening prayers on page one. sentient beings, limitless as space, especially those enemies who hate me, obstructors who harm me, and those who create obstacles on my path to liberation and omniscience. May they experience happiness, be free from suffering, and swiftly may they attain precious, unsurpassed, perfectly complete enlightenment. All mother sentient beings, limitless as space, especially those enemies who hate me, obstructors who harm me, and those who create obstacles on my path to liberation and omniscience. May they experience happiness, be free from suffering, and swiftly may they attain precious, unsurpassed, perfectly complete enlightenment. <laughs> For that purpose, until I attain Buddhahood, I will apply my body, speech, and mind to virtue. Until death, I will apply my body, speech, and mind to virtue. From today until this time tomorrow, I will apply my body, speech, and mind to virtue. Sanjayan <coughs> I take refuge in the Buddhas until attaining the essence of awakening. Likewise, I take refuge in the Dharma and in the assembly of the Bodhisattvas. Just as the Buddhas of the past gave rise to Bodhicitta and progressed along the Bodhisattva's path, so shall I give rise to bodhicitta for the benefit of all beings and practice the stages of the bodhisattva's path. I take refuge in the Buddhas until attaining the essence of awakening. Likewise, I take refuge in the Dharma and in the assembly of the bodhisattvas, just as the Buddhas of the past gave rise to bodhicitta and progressed along the bodhisattva's path. So shall I give rise to bodhicitta for the benefit of all beings and practice the stages of the bodhisattva's path. Until awakening, I take refuge in the Buddha, the Dharma, and the Supreme Assembly. By the merit of generosity and the other perfections, may I attain Buddhahood for the benefit of all beings. Until awakening, I take refuge in the Buddha, the Dharma, and the Supreme Assembly. By the merit of generosity and the other perfections, may I attain Buddhahood for the benefit of all beings. <laughs> Dum, 
May all mothers, sentient beings, limitless as space, have happiness and the causes of happiness. May they be free from suffering and the causes of suffering. May they not be separated from the happiness that is free from sorrow. May they rest in equanimity, free from attachment and aversion. May all mother sentient beings, limitless as space, have happiness and the causes of happiness. May they be free from suffering and the causes of suffering. May they not be separated from the happiness that is free from sorrow. May they rest in equanimity, free from attachment and aversion. Now we'll go to the Aryatara Sadhana, page one. I namo sanje chu so kung a chum de ma Nando cham je san chu sem je to Namo sanje chu so kung a chum de ma Nando cham san chu sem je to Namo and the Mother Victress, embodiment of all the Buddhas, Dharma, and Sangha, I and all beings take refuge and resolve to cultivate bodhicitta, the mind of enlightenment. <laughs> Thank you. 
dare tu dare tu re mama ayuja punya putraku ruso wa om dare tu dare tu re mama ayuja punya putraku ruso wa om dare tu dare tu re mama ayuja na punya putraku ruso wa om dare tu dare tu re mama ayuja punya putraku ruso wa om dare tu dare tu re mama ayuja Bhutraku Ruso Va Om Dare Tu Dare Tu Re Mama Ayuja Punya Bhutraku Ruso Va Om Dare Tu Dare Tu Re Mama Ayuja Punya Bhutraku Ruso
and bodhisattvas abiding in the ten directions in the three times, I prostrate to you with utter sincerity. I visualize offerings of actual and imaginary flowers, incense, butter lamps, perfume, feasts, music, and so forth. Retinue of Aryatara, please accept them. I confess the ten non-virtues, the five inexpiable transgressions, the afflictive emotions habituated by the mind, and my every misdeed from beginningless time until today. I rejoice in the merit of all virtues accumulated in the three times by the hearers, solitary realizers, bodhisattvas, ordinary people, and so forth. Please turn the wheel of the Dharma of the greater, lesser, and common vehicles according to the varied thoughts and intellectual capacities of sentient beings. As long as samsara remains, please do not pass into nirvana, but look with compassion upon sentient beings who are sinking in the ocean of suffering. Whatever merit I have amassed is the cause of enlightenment. Thus, before too long, may I become a glorious guide to transient beings. to the 21 Taras handout. Om, I prostrate to the noble transcendent <coughs> liberator. Homage, Tara, swift heroic, eyes like lightning instantaneous, sprung from opening stamens of the Lord of three worlds, dear-born lotus. Homage, she whose face combines a Hundred autumn moons at fullest, blazing with light rays resplendent, as a thousand star collection. Homage, golden blue and lotus, water born in hand adorned, giving effort, calm austerity, patience, meditation, her sphere. Homage, crown of Tathagatas, actions triumph without limit, relied on by conquerors' children. Having reached every perfection, homage filling with Tutare, whom desire direction and space, trampling with her feet the seven worlds, able to draw forth all beings, homage worshipped by the All Lord, Chakra Agni Brahma Maru, honored by the hosts of spirits, corpse raisers, Gandharvas, Yakshas, homage with her tray and pay sound. Destroying foes magic diagrams, her feet pressing left out right and blazing in a raging fireplace. Homage to a very dreadful destroyer of Mara's champions. She with frowning lotus visage, who is slayer of all enemies. Homage at her heart, her fingers adorn her with three jewel mudra. Light ray masses all excited, all directions wills adorn her. Homage, she so joyous, radiant, crown emitting garlands of light, mirthful laughing with Tutare, subjugating Mara's devas. Homage, she able to summon 
All earth guardians assembly, shaking, frowning with her home sign, saving from every misfortune. Homage crown adorned with crescent, moon all ornaments most shining. Amitabha in her hair knot, sending out much light eternal. Homage she may breathe ablaze like eon ending fire abiding. Right stretched left bench choice surrounds you, troops of enemies destroying. Homage she who strikes the ground with her palm and with her foot beats it. Scowling with the letter home, the seven levels she does conquer. Homage, happy, virtuous, peaceful, she whose field is peace, nirvana. She endowed with omen, swoha, destroyer of the great evil. Homage, she with joy surrounded, tearing foes bodies asunder. Breeze with home and knowledge mantra. Arrangement of the ten letters, homage to the with seed letter, of the shape of syllable home, by foot stamping shakes of three worlds, Meru, Mandara, and Vidya, homage holding in her hand the hairmark moon of Deva lake form, with twice spoken Tara and Pe, totally dispelling poison. Homage she whom gods and their kings and the Kinaras do honor. Armored in all joyful splendor, she dispels bad dreams and conflicts. Homage she whose two eyes bright with radiance of sun and full moon, with twice Hara and Tutare, she dispels severe contagion. Homage full of liberating, power by the set of three natures, Destroys hosts of spirits, yakshas, and raise corpses supreme to These praises with the root mantras and prostrations thus are 21. Benefits of the 21 Tara praises handout to one who has true devotion to the goddess, a wise person who recites this prayer, who remembers her in the evening and upon arising at dawn. Absolute fearlessness will be bestowed. All misdeeds will be pacified, all lower realms utterly conquered, and seven million Buddhas will quickly empower you. In this life, one will attain superior attributes and ultimately progress to the state of Buddhahood. By remembering her, even virulent local or foreign poisons that one has eaten or drunk will be utterly expelled. This prayer completely eliminates the torment of afflictions of negative forces, epidemics, and poisons, even when recited on behalf of others. I'm reciting it twice, thrice, or seven times. Those who want children will have a child, and those who desire wealth will attain it. All of one's wishes will be fulfilled, all obstacles will self-destruct, and every hindrance will be overcome. Back to the Arya Tara Sadhana on page 39.
いだし。ジャンボシェルジャンボディエテリタダエチャマジェルジョーヨリカミデラエソンビサンマテソボレシャティジェティチワチチャメデリエタタタチャティワンシュンマトミラギニャミマトミジャンジュドマシュネジョーソムテバ
ओम तारे तारे तुरे मामा कालो जो सर्वासित ओम तारे तारे तुरे मामा कालो जो सर्वासित तेरी चाता पंपाट बाजे नासी लकड़ कोवर जैसा ना चेलम पसंद सो सो तेरी चलन जो आंगा दे रामजी दे थम्स साजे के रामजी दे ताकि तुम इसी बात हो जाए मिसी बात हो जाए वो तो आप बाग छोड़ रख दे तुम लोग दे ताकि बच्चों से जब भी नमक ये तो ये तो जो आंगा दे रामजी के ताकि ये बच्चे बात नहीं जो आंगा लारे लारे म Om Bada Amrita Kundala Hana Hana Om Bada Om Bada Amrita Kundala Hana Hana Om Om Bada Amrita Kundala Hana Hana Om Bada Om Bada Amrita Kundala Hana Hana Om 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 Om Aho Lana Ghenshi Jethurta Shava Pramchata Roche Dutu the deities melt into wisdom nectar, merging inseparably into <coughs> one with the vase water. नेकब दादी का चुपा तेरी तो लोग चुपा था वे तेरे ते साजुक से बच्चों को ले तुम सुना दे तेरे ते बेरे में बंद रहो योरे Lamma sova tabanti tini, giusem che sangi e tamgi e chiedo c'è una, tini rangi zavo la mattina due ore, e gocce, sonce, tocce, 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 to I pray to you, precious Guru, kind Lord of Dharma, I call you with longing. Unfortunate ones have no hope but you. Grant your blessings that our minds merge indivisibly. Om Bada Amrita Kundrala Hana Hana Om Bada Om Bada Sobha Vajuda Sarvada Sobha Vajuda Vajuda from the state of emptiness appears your initial adorned with a bindu. It transforms into you, the patron, appearing with the complete aggregates, elements, and sense sources taking refuge in the three jewels and the deities of the mandala. Go to page seven. Namo Zazan Ram Jan Den Badan Langa Den Zen Sajen Te Jim Da De De Nye Dong Ke Me Pe Ten Den Che 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 Nen Ben Zha An Ke Sha Jai Namo Tassan Ram Jantem Bata Langa Tenzen Sajyantu 
Namo, by the power of the truth of the infinite hosts of the three roots and the power of the deities mantra, mudra, and samadhi, the negativities, obscurations, faults, and downfalls of the patron are called to this support. of the body, illnesses, evil spirits who steal our lives, those who cause obstacles to lifespan, manipulate our radiance, and take away the emblems of our souls, inborn demon of death, yamas, mamos, gods, demons, kingly spirits, and demonesses, all those with deadly grudges who come for our resources, bodies, and lives, and all karmic creditors who come to collect their debts, Take this living object of the senses as ransom for our lives. Take delight and be rid of your longing to harm. Inscribed on the six places of the patron's body are the six seeds of the six classes. Arising as the Yidam, my fingers are the Buddhas of the five families and their consorts. Go to page 12. of primordial wisdom stream from their points of union, burning away the seeds of the six classes. Bhamhengurazhova Om 
dare du dare du re so va om da ha da ha sa va na ra ga ga de he dong ho om dare du dare du re so va om pa da pa da sa va ti da ga ga de he dong ho om dare du dare du re so va Om Mata Mata Sarvate Yaga Gata Hedong Om Om Dare Du Dare Du Re Sova Om Tinda Tinda Sarvate Gata Hedong Om Om Dare Du Dare Du Re Sova Om Te Te Sarva Asura Gata Hedong Om Om Dare Du Dare Du Re Sova Om Dheta Dheta Sarva Niraka Gade Heta Hobe Sanjit Tamjit Kodong Tura Tumar Mijan Simjin Tumadu Nenta Sula Sula Tamjit Sanjit Tamjit Kutsu Solna で、先輩、え、レディオンチェット、サンディエゴ、サンチョクセビチュンティエ、ニングダソウセン、ダンディ、イジンチョンチョウヨエディ、タボサルチュソ、ティチュチュジェディリザンソラ、コロジョクセビ
Om dare du dare du re so va Om aya dare samaya manu palaya Aya dare tino pa tisho dudu me bava Sutu kayo me bava Zubu chayo me bava Anuradu me bava Sarva siddhe me parayanta sarva karma sutta me ちょっとなんてやんくるほんはははははほんばんがわてあやたれまめめあやたれまわまさまさとわおめさわたたんがあべけんがてさまゆるゆ ま、でれ、でれ、でれ、でれ、でれ、でれ、でれ、でれ、でれ、でれ、でれ、でれ、でれ、でれ、でれ、でれ、でれ、でれ、でれ、でれ、でれ、でれ、でれ、でれ、で
of all the Buddhas, the very essence of Vajra holders and the root of the three jewels, homage to all gurus, compassionate protectors, omniscient guides, ocean of merit and good qualities, homage to the Buddhas, to the pure cause that liberates from lower rebirth, virtuous action devoid of attachment, the supreme and singular ultimate truth, homage to the Dharma that is peace. Liberated yourself, you show the path to liberation, well-founded in the pure trainings, a sacred field of noble qualities, homage to the Sangha too. Homage to the unwavering Dharmakaya, the wisdom mind beyond expression, the great bliss Sambhogakaya, the five Buddhas and their families, and the Nirmanakaya of peace and wrath, the deities, the myriad expressions of compassion, skillful means, with bodies as numerous as desmotes in all universes, I will always pay homage with great devotion to all those worthy of respect. You oceans of refuge, please liberate countless sentient beings and myself from the fear of evil states and please guide us to the state of liberation. <laughs> In an instant, the patrons transform into the pure deity. In this vase, this precious and vast palace is the divine assembly of the three roots. Its water transforms to wisdom nectar. To empty samsara from its very depths, fortunate one, empowerment is given to you. May the obscurations of your body, speech, and mind be purified, and may you obtain empowerment of enlightened body, speech, and mind. <laughs> Go to page 42. <laughs> Sanjay Sepa Mela Santa Lu. 
Buddha of infinite light, chief guide of beings in this world, glorious conqueror of all untimely death, ref refuge for suffering beings without protection, to you, Amitayas, I prostrate. Om Namo Bhagavate Abharamata Ayurjana Simbhane Yudhati Dvorhanta Tathangataya Ahate Sanya Sambhita Viyata Om Pinya Pinya Maha Pinya Abharamata Pinya Aparema Pinya Jana Sambharobhata Om Savasankara Parishita Dhammata Gangana Samunga Subhava Vishita Mahana Varvara Sova Amarana Jintaya Sova Om Amarana Jintaya Sova Om Amarana Jintaya Sova Being generous and keeping morality, cultivating patience and being diligent, meditating and realizing the fundamental nature, may there be the auspiciousness of such goodness here and now. Back to page uh, 38 at the bottom. From the hearts of the mandala deities, light rays of wisdom shine forth and purify all negative karma and habitual imprints of the patrons into the expanse of non-referential primordial purity. <laughs> of Dharma Dhatu, the fire of wisdom awareness is lit upon the wood pile of self-grasping, burning away the afflictions and the habitual tendencies of the patron. The fire that is without aspiration for a rising or cessation, without abiding and without characteristics, this self-born wisdom fire has burned away the conceptual imagination of believing in a self. 
In truth, all objects to be burnt and those who burn them are primordially and effortlessly awakened. The self-born wisdom, the natural spontaneous dharmakaya appears here. Ahamaya dare samaya manabalaya ayadare dinova dhidrandindo meva sudhukhayo meva va sudhukhayo meva va anuradu meva sava sudha meva yanda sava karma sudha me jadam jirang kuru hung ha 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 ho bhanga vate ayadare Ayadare bhava ma samaya sa tova anayendulara. Back to the Arya Tara Sadhana on page 41 for the seven verses of supplication to Tara for protection. Exalted Mother Goddess Tara, residing in the unborn, empty expanse of Dharmadhatu, who bestows bliss upon every sentient being, please protect me from every danger. Since mother sentient beings are unaware that they themselves are the Dharmakaya, their minds are navigated by afflictive emotions as they wander adrift through psychic existence. Mother Goddess, please protect them. Dharma has not yet arisen from the depths of some beings' hearts. By adhering to mundane words, they are deceived by erroneous philosophies. Authentic Mother Goddess, please protect them. Having seen the nature of mind itself so difficult to recognize, some still do not habituate it but remain distracted by negative activities. Mindful Mother Goddess, please protect them. Regardless of what they do, some remain shackled by their habitual pattern of dualistic grasping at the self-arisen mind of non-dual wisdom. Goddess of the mind of non-duality, please protect them. Although they dwell in the absolute truth, some are ignorant of the interdependence of cause and effect and confused by the meaning of that which should be understood. Omniscient Mother Goddess, please protect them. Certain individual disciples do not yet comprehend that by possessing an innate space-like nature free of mental concepts, all phenomena are inseparable from space. Perfectly enlightened mother, please protect them. Oh, Oh. 
Ammaya dar zamaya manu balaya Arya dar dinaba didan dindu meba Dudu kayo meba wa zubu jayo meba Anuradu meba wa sarwa sede meba yanta sova karma Yadam jayam guru hum ha 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 ho Banga vate ayadar Nenza ayadar bava ma samaya sato va Om ayadar samaya manapalaya Ayadar dino ba didan dindu me ba Sudha khayo me ba va sudha jayo me ba Anuradu me ba va sarva siddhe me ba Sarva karma sudha me sudha jayam guru ho Ha 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 ho banga vate ayatara ma Anare ba va maha samaya sato va Om ayatara samaya mana ba va Ayatara dino ba didan dindu me ba Sudha khayo me ba va sudha jayo me ba Anuradu me ba va sarva siddha me ba yanta sarva karma sutta Sutam jayam guru hum ha 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 ho banga vate ayatara ma Ayatara samaya sato va manja yonsa madhata Dala mamba vangana Nomba ganji zuzu lang jata Zorvara Vandana tenda lain jata Gorva seta jane cha Neme seta vansu zan chana le Sartu su Go to middle of page 50 Exalted, transcendent lady of triumph, compassionate one, may I and all innumerable sentient beings purify the two obscurations and swiftly complete the two accumulations. Thus may we attain complete awakening. Until then, in every lifetime, having obtained the sublime bliss of gods and humans, may the obstacles hindering the attainment of omniscience, interfering spirits, epidemics, illnesses, and so forth, as well as the various causes which lead to premature death, nightmares, evil omens, the eight fears, and all danger be quickly pacified and eliminated. May abundant auspiciousness, prosperity, and happiness, both mundane and transcendent, increase and proliferate. May every purpose without exception be accomplished effortlessly and spontaneously. May we persevere in the practice and may the sacred Dharma flourish. Through continuous practice, may we behold your sublime face. May we realize emptiness and may precious bodhicitta broaden and expand like the waxing moon. When we are born in the victor's excellent and lovely mandala from an exquisitely beautiful lotus, may Amitabha, the victorious Buddha of infinite light, give his prophecies again and thereafter. May we gain attainment. In every lifetime, I have thoroughly realized the deity who accomplishes the enlightened activities of all the past, present, and future Buddhas. Bluish green with a single face and two arms, she is the swift subduer. May the auspiciousness of our mother who holds an upala flower be present. Queen Mother Tara, may I and others become identical to you with your retinue, lifespan, pure realm, and nobly superior marks of perfection. Through the power of exaltation and supplication of you, let disease, malevolent spirits, poverty, and quarreling be pacified, 
and let the dharma and auspiciousness flourish for myself and others wherever we may live. Having discarded physical deformities, you possess the marks of perfection. Having discarded impediments of speech, your voice is the melodic bird song, the Kalavinka. Having discarded lapses of the mind, you perceive all that should be known. May the auspiciousness of the lady who blazes with glory be present. Om. Homage to she who protects from the eight fears. Homage to she who blazes in auspicious glory. Homage to she who blocks the gate to the lower realms. Homage to she who leads on the path to the higher realms. You are my constant companion. I pray you will eternally protect me with compassion. O Mama of the Buddhas of the Three Times, you lovingly care for all sentient beings like a mother for her child. Through your love for myself and all beings, you purify the two obscurations so we may perfect the two accumulations. In every lifetime, you pacify disturbances arising from the eight and ten fears. Having attained merit, dharma teachings, and wealth proliferate. When I am completely released from the iron shackles of self-grasping, may my altruism be indistinguishable from yours in benefiting all beings. Please fulfill the wishes of those disciples who maintain Samaya. Now we'll do Zambala, Summoning Good Fortune and the Rainfall of Benefit and Happiness text on page 63. Da 
Lama, deities of longevity, dakinis of Udiana, and assembly of wealth gods, please bestow the four empowerments upon me and other fortunate disciples. Being bestowed with the supreme form empowerment upon my body, may I attain the indestructible Vajra body. Being bestowed with the supreme speech empowerment upon my speech, may I attain the power of Brahma's sixty melodies. Being bestowed with the supreme mind empowerment upon my mind, May I attain power over the unborn simplicity. May I attain the essence kaya empowerment, the ultimate empowerment that is the spontaneous presence of the three kayas. May I attain the empowerment of the Guru's three kayas, which causes the three poisons to manifest as the three kayas. May I attain the empowerment of the long life deities of the five families, which causes the five poisons to manifest as the five aspects of primordial wisdom. May I attain the empowerment of the Dakinis of Uddiyana by which the body of deathless primordial wisdom is obtained. May I attain the empowerment of white Sambhala Yabhyum, which effortlessly and spontaneously accomplishes ordinary and sublime cities. May I attain the empowerment of wealth gods and treasure lords, which perfects the abundance of food, wealth, and riches. May I attain the empowerment of Mahamudra, which liberates from samsara's pain. May I attain the empowerment of self-knowing Dharmakaya, which is the primordial purity of the delusional perceptions of unawareness. May I attain the empowerment of the great completion, which is the primordial purity of all phenomenon of samsara and nirvana. 
May I attain the empowerment of the great middle way, which naturally liberates the four extremes of eternalism and nihilism. May I attain the empowerment to the perfection of wisdom, which is inexpressible, being beyond words and thoughts. May I attain the empowerment of total openness, free from fixation, which naturally liberates dualistic propensities. May I attain the empowerment of immortal life, which is the unchanging expanse of awareness. May I attain the empowerment of awakening within one lifetime, which is the Hri, the guru who is the three kayas, deities of longevity, dakinis of Uddiyana, and assembly of wealth gods, my own body, speech, and mind, this life, all solid and substantial matter, all these dissolve like clouds dissolving in the sky or water pouring into water, without reference point into the all-pervasive open space of Ah. In a state of non-distraction, rest at ease. In the unborn basic space of phenomena, let go of everything. In a state of simplicity, remain free and open. Seal the steadfastness. Summary. Seal, seal, seal. Three. By this virtue of timelessness beyond the three times, may all beings be relieved from the suffering of poverty, hunger, and thirst, and may all wishes and enjoyments be fulfilled. At last, may they swiftly attain the most excellent state of the Master Padmasambhava and Amitabha in the Buddha field great bliss and reach the ground of no return. World Peace Prayer on page 98. To the unfailing sources of refuge, the three jewels and three roots, and especially Chenrezig, the protector of the land of snows, to noble Tara and Guru Padmasambhava, I pray, please remember your sacred pledge of former times. Please grant blessings that this aspiration be entirely fulfilled. In this dark age of decline, the thoughts and actions of beings are corrupted, and the balance of the outer and inner elements is lost. Through these causes and conditions, humans and animals alike are seized by epidemics and diseases unknown in the past. They are struck by planetary demons, nagas, evil spirits, dark forces, and elemental spirits. Crops are damaged by blight, frost, and hail, and there is fighting and dispute. Untimely rains, heat waves, and droughts in the world, fear of earthquakes, fire, adversaries, and natural catastrophes, and in particular, evil hordes that hurt the teachings and so forth, cause harm and violence throughout the world. 
May these be swiftly pacified and vanquished from their very roots. In the minds of all beings, human and non-human, may precious and supreme bodhicitta arise naturally. And free of harmful thoughts and actions, may the minds of all be filled with love for one another. May the entire world enjoy abundant happiness and wealth. May the Buddha's teachings spread far and endure long by the truthful power of the three roots, the Buddhas and Bodhisattvas, by whatever virtuous roots there are in samsara and nirvana, and by the power of our highest pure intention. May this aspiration be fulfilled. Long life. And we'll do that in the yellow prayer book on page 20, the long life prayers. For this realm, encircled by snow-covered mountains, you are the source of all benefit and happiness without exception. Tenzin Gyatso, Lord Shenrizig, may your life remain steadfast until the end of samsara. Embodiment of the three jewels, great being who upholds and increases the teachings of the Shakya lion, you perfectly guide others with your excellent deeds. May you, the precious guru who accomplishes everything spontaneously, live long. Holder of the teachings of Lord Drigumpa, great sovereign of the three jewels, through the power of your peerless compassion and the holy Dharma's peaceful light, you bring relief to beings. May your life be long. That known in the noble land as Arya Deva, you emanated into the Gar clan of eastern Tibet as Chudingpa, the heart son of Chudingkompo. May the life of the glorious Garchan remain steadfast for a hundred eons. Page 26. May the teaching of the great Trigumpa Ratna Sri, master of interdependence, omniscient lord of Dharma, who has seen all knowable things, be upheld through teachings and practice through hearing, reflecting, and meditating until the end of existence. Your thousand arms are the thousand wheel-turning kings. Your thousand eyes are the thousand Buddhas of this fortunate eon. Your love is boundless like space. I supplicate the Bodhisattva Chenrezig. Om